Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead and welcome back to my garden. Guys decided to come out here and try to get some um, potatoes, harvest some potatoes, and I uh, pulled up that, that amount of plants right there and I got a half a bucket of potatoes. Some of them are not completely developed, but they're good size. That's a good, very good size. So this is a, a nice um, bunch of potatoes here. I didn't notice onto the plants. Some of them still had like little potatoes on them, on them. And uh, so they probably could have waited, but the plants are starting to die out. We're supposed to get some rain in. And the thing of it is, I'm looking at a potato bug right at this moment. And trying to keep smashing potato bugs is just uh, hard work. It's kind of crazy because you think you got them and then they're there again. I see one eating or moving on that leaf. And I actually put some of this back on this bed again. They haven't messed with the ones into the garden yet so far, thank God. But last time I put this on, it took care of it because it became a battle just trying to smash those potato bugs. And But they decided to come back. So I also, while I was digging up these potatoes, I found some of my seed potatoes. And I'm going to be planting those again. They look pretty good. That one I stabbed with the pitchfork, but it'll, it'll heal up. And so... Last year, about September, August, I think it I think it was August, yeah, it was August. I took some potatoes, just stuck them in the ground, see how they would do, didn't have anything to lose, and the plants did pretty good. They uh, started, as it cooled off even more, they kind of started growing, and so that's what I'm gonna do. When I do get to a place of harvesting these potatoes, or finding seed potatoes, I'm gonna put them right back into the ground. This one actually has a little potato on it. So, let's take a look at the garden. So this is the potato raised bed. And as you can see, they're starting to die out. Went around and scruffed around with the pitchfork and that was, I had to get really on the edge because I stabbed a couple of the potatoes. So it's kind of hard getting potatoes out of the ground, except if you had all the potatoes, um, yeah, the potatoes dead, uh, potato plants dead. Then you can just pull all the plants up and then, you know, get in there. And that's what I plan on doing. I'm sure there's probably some still in that dirt trying to find that potato bug there there's one right there you see that so he's eating on that I'm and what you do you just try to smash them I'm just gonna step on them because they make a mess on your fingers so he's eating on that leaf and um, it'll eat some of that DE and that should take care of them over here is the carrots that's growing I got carrots into the uh, refrigerator I, I got to get those canned and uh, onions are starting to look like they need to be pulled this one right here these onions grew up out of the garden from last year and i just pulled them up and transplanted them over here and that's a good size onion as you can tell it's starting to die back some and so i'm gonna soon harvest that and put it in some squash and there's some more onions over here now this garden's been very productive uh, very productive. I think I've canned like 27 quarts of squash. Um, I've also been processing some meat birds, 20 of them two days ago, and um, I have put up about 24 quarts of chicken from the last birds this week, getting those out of the freezer. Been uh, getting string beans, garden peas, um, dig, dig up some potatoes, uh, gold price squash straight necks the tomatoes are doing really excellent so yesterday afternoon I did take and uh, I'm picking squash like morning and afternoon but as you can tell the garden is just looking just dynamite and it is really ramping up here these are some okra I grew these some seeds spaced them out put them in cell, uh, seed cell trays and I was able to space them out. Uh, these are celebrities. These, those were also grown from seeds. That's a straight neck gold price squash. Over here, oh, look at the, look at the bees. That's what I've been wanting to see. I've been wanting to see those bees because some of these um, blooms that get pollinated or some of the squash that get pollinated. And one of the things I do as I go in here because these plants are I decided to uh, plant them close together is to break these leaves off so it'll give room for the other plant that's beside of it. 
and these will probably be about ready to pick this afternoon. Here's, like I said, I picked them yesterday afternoon, but they're growing so fast. And you just take and twist it. Here's one, uh, another squash. I went by here and just laid it beside the road. And some of these can just go ahead and be picked. I'm gonna probably go ahead and um, pick some to my daughter, my son. I'll be seeing them today. So yeah, the bees are just coming in here now, doing their job. I had a problem with pollinating this year. These are celebrities right here. I need to go with another string on the other side. I haven't got to it yet because I've been canning so much. And these are the okra. Once again, these are Clemson. I think spineless. They're Clemson anyhow. And uh, so they're, they're taking off because it's starting to be hot here. Over here is the big better boys. And these plants are doing excellent. I've gave them a good haircut. I keep my plants really trimmed. Squash, the tomatoes. I came in there and harvested a, a, a lot of leaves off of these. Because I don't want all these leaves. I want, I want plants. And plus, I can see if there's any worms in there. So they're loaded down. It won't be long. These tomatoes will start turning. One right there. They're starting to turn already. I've got the water to garden. I had an ordeal with my water softener. So it kind of bursted and and so the, it was running over and ran into the garden, which is good. So that's why I haven't watered yet because I'm trying to let this, some of this water go down. But look at all those tomatoes right there. They are loaded down. And uh, get the leaf out of the way. They're just loaded down. It won't be long. I'll be having a tomato sandwich here. They have the plants are grown up, and my plan was, and they're growing so fast that my plan was to interweave them into this string right here. And I'll have to come back. I want to put string on the other side. I'll probably be taking some more of these leaves out. And there's lots of blooms on these. They're just just really producing a lot of blooms. This is a cherry tomato. And it's loaded down with cherries down there. These are close to the ground, so I'll take my clippers and come back in here and get these leaves away from the ground. That is a celebrity. These are celebrities. Celebrity's got some tomatoes growing right there. I haven't so far seen any tomato worms. These are my potatoes. And uh, they're starting to fall over now. They was up to my hip. And they're starting to fall over. That's a tomato plant celebrity. And they look just beautiful. I hope they put out, they've stopped blooming now. They're starting to fall over. So I'm waiting for the plants to start dying out and hoping to get a good harvest in there. Now this is where the garden peas was at down these two rows right here. So yesterday I took and um, started pulling those garden peas up. And uh, these are running peas. And on there you see some DE on it because I went through, because I haven't seen any pests, but I've noticed some of my plants have got like holes in them. So there must be something at nighttime that's coming in here. I don't know what that is, but it is putting little holes. So this, the wind's blowing real bad and try to get some of that on there. So once I pulled the garden peas up yesterday afternoon, because you see, they were starting to take off just overnight. Starting to run. But my plan was I had a time getting the garden peas. Um, my plan was, uh, you know, those, to see if I can get some harvest from those. And uh, then I went ahead and put these peas in here and took and sowed them in there. Figured that by the time the garden peas were just got to be taken out of here because of the heat, these will be up enough. In between these lines, I've also run some, I think these were voluntary uh, tomatoes that came up from last year. There's another tomato plant. 
And so I was planning on kind of weaving that in a little bit. This leaf right here, I'll cut that, take that off. Try and I'll take that, come back in and cut that because it's thick now. Cut that off, get it away from the ground. Well, yeah. Once I took those garden pea plants out, these things just like took off overnight. These are a variety of peppers. There is a sweet potato plant there. These are variety can be uh, a lost count of um, what exactly I planted. So banana peppers. I know there's a banana pepper in here. I pick one, and it could be possible bell peppers, Hawaiian um, peppers. So there. This is my rows of string beans. So I've got string beans into the refrigerator. Uh, just couldn't get to them late, late last night, and I went ahead and picked them. Decided not to water the garden and just put some of that DE on there. So this is the, once again the gold prize squash, and I will be coming in here. It's like that's there's a string bean right there, so I've got to come in here. And you want to just take the, the end of it off and leave this right here that brings balance to the plant. And these these leaves right here are not doing any good whatsoever. They're just in the way from the other plant. So I just come in here and puts it actually all that growth to your vegetable. And since that one's close to that, I'm gonna come in here and just break it off. If it's tender, then um, it just goes right back into the ground. Gold fry squash. Once again, the string beans. So I had a time I had to plant these string beans twice. There's two different varieties of string beans, yellow and green. Oh, that's what it is. Where'd it go? I just seen it. It looks like a little tiny ladybug. So, it must have fell down. See the stream beans? You know, I'm fixing to run this water sprinkler so they're not washing this DE off. But I just didn't, you know, want the, whatever it is, like I said, probably doing it at nighttime. But, uh, just to kind of mess my plants up. So these are my cucumbers and they are starting to run and I, this year I'm just gonna run them in between the string. This is string like you get, if you're gonna square off a building. I bought it from Builder Supply. Decided to use these T-posts this year and uh, run them that way. And they're starting to take off. They got plenty of blooms. It won't be long that the cucumbers will be coming off. Once again, this is the gold prize squash, and they are loaded down with blooms. Come in here and take some of these leaves off again, because they grow overnight, so that the pollinators can find the blooms and get down in there. And plus it gives it some sun to those blooms, it gives it space. These right here, I can tell they haven't been pollinated. That's why you want to take your get some of your leaves out and you know, make sure those bees can find your plants. This one right here is running, starting to spread out. Um, this is a zucchini over here. Pick two large zucchinis. That one right there. It looks like um, bloom rot, but it's it's not. It's where it just didn't get pollinated. Here's another zucchini. There's the gold fry squash. And this right here is a small wandering squash. Definitely gotta get some more leaves out of here. This thing is loaded down with small wandering squash. Get in there. They're, they are loaded, loaded down. All in there, everywhere. I don't know, I don't know much about these small wonder squash. I've never planted them before. Decided to run up on a trellis is what I wanted to do earlier. Because of our weather, I couldn't get to it. And as you can see, they are running. That keeps them from running all over the garden. So if you know anything about small wonder squash, shoot me a comment. Anything, harvesting or whatever. This is a different type of squash. now. Day. I'm, I'm not sure about these either. It starts with the peas. There's one back there. Different, different shape. 
leaves that way. Different shape. Um, this does run, but yeah, had a problem with the pollinator, so I'm I'm gonna have to do some research. Knowing if you see these, and it starts with a P, and it can't Pavilia or something Pavara or something another, but um. You know, if you know anything about these type of squash, shoot me a comment. Never grew these before, but this is really hard, so, um, I just don't, I just got to do some research. I haven't had time. I've been canning so much, but I have been taking some leaves off of these, too, so they can get pollinated, and there is a, several of them down, down in there, one back there. They uh, hold pretty well. I heard that up to four, three, four, four, five, six months, you know, in a cool, dry place. More gold price squash. There are some of those squash again. So there's several of them in there. Since the pollinators are coming out, they should probably just do pretty good. And more gold price squash. This is another small wonder squash, and as you can tell, it's running all over the ground. I didn't get a chance to take and put that on a trellis. But once again, these are my okra. I like to trim the leaves on my okra. I haven't been able to do anything with them, but they're, they're not really that big. Oh, I see. I see some okra. I see okra blooms coming out. So, yeah. Got to run this up on the trellis, trying to keep it out of the way. And there's one of these squash. Once again, the gold fry squash. And the, it threw out here, we missed it. Oh, there's one. I was fixing to say there is a sweet potato. So I got sweet potatoes um, branched out here and there. One back in there between the string bean. Oh, prize, and there's some sweet potatoes right there. So, all the fight of, from the frost, this garden has really bombed out. It is the bomb. So, this is the moss ross I grew from um, seed. I've got some more in different planters. And I just love these flowers. They're very hard to find in the summertime at Lowe's. They get gone very quickly. But I found the seeds and I grew these up in seeds and that's what I'm planning on I'll hopefully keep on doing. There's some more right there. There's the marigold. I grew these seeds. And I just love the flowers into the summertime along with the garden. This is the vertical planters that I purchased. This thing right here is loaded down with uh, strawberries. Just loaded down. It's on roller so you can roll it around. And I'm on my deck so it's kind of hard. but um, And it's heavy too. This one I didn't put on the top. This is your waterer right there on top. But as you can see I've got the um, reason I didn't do that is because I've got strawberries that are running. These are running and uh I'm not gonna keep them in this vertical planter because it's just a temporary home for them because as you can tell they're running so I want more more strawberry plants I invested in these strawberry plants to get more strawberry plants so what I've been doing is taking uh, like that one's running right there and there's one down it I just stick it into the dirt it'll get a little bit longer and I'll just cover the base right there with dirt and then leave this sticking up and it just seems to work pretty good with that it's got loads of runners this is one right here it's coming off this plant right here stuck it into dirt right there and it's growing ate some strawberries for breakfast this morning and uh won't be long i've got the the uh potting garden mix whatever soil put in that right there um, so it'll be going in there and I'm not sure what I'm going to put in there yet but this is these two things are be, uh, vertical planters should I say they're an original 
I thought this was most of an original. I thought this was the, t uh, the leaf. And then I ordered the original, but they looked the same. And when I was looking at the leaf vertical planner and the original, the only thing I could tell differently is that um, possibility that the, you know, it looked like they hold the same amount of work, uh, work, uh, soil or potting mix. And maybe this would have been a little bit wider, but it's lengthwise, so I just thought, well. And so this time I thought I was ordering the original, but maybe I ordered both original. But when I looked at that, I said, that looks like the one I already got. You don't see much difference in the size. But it is a, it's a five tier. And up here you put your water. It has a little drain hose at the bottom. And this is supposed to go down and water the every, you know, because this cycles right on down to everyone. And uh, it puts the disturbance the water out. It's on a roller so you can roll it. And actually with this over here, I don't, since I don't have that base on there, with these strawberries that need a lot of water, it's been so hot here, leaves do actually die out. But um, I just take my sprinkler little hose thing, you know, a little sprinkler on the end of it, and just give these a good water. And that seems to do pretty good because I got to come up here and water all the other plants. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you don't mind, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you all my subscribers. And I can't remember the names of those. It's been such an inspiration to my channel, giving me encouraging words. It just means so much, especially with those that sit there and say you do good content. Uh, having a homestead and trying to do a homestead by yourself, canning, processing chickens, taking care of all the animals, taking care of the garden, taking care of two homesteads. It can be very challenging. It is a way of life and it is a, a place of determination. So me having a lot of time to, to even sit back and edit takes a lot of time. But to try to dramatize some type of content, it's just about mere impossible for me. So I just said, well, you know what? I'll just show them what's going on here at the homestead. Hoping to encourage somebody that, yeah, you can do this. You know, I'm building onto a greenhouse or building a greenhouse right now and build a chicken coop. You know, these things do take time. The weather has definitely kicked up here. It's gotten hot. Um, I've got acres and acres of land to mow. So it is, it's challenging. But I'm telling you, if you put your mind to it, you can do it. You're not going to get a whole lot of sleep. I'm up early and I'm up late, you know, but it's durable. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Stay safe out there, and remember, God loves you, and so do I. Make it a great day.